Why should you use Microsoft audience ads? The easiest reason is to expand your reach. It's another network for you to try to get your awareness out there and potentially build interest within your brand or whatever products you are trying to sell. A second reason, and I need to clarify, is that Microsoft Audience Ads is a native advertising platform. And if you've researched other native platforms, some of them can be pretty expensive. And you might be a company that doesn't have a big budget, and you can't even get into the minimum package for some of the native platforms that are out there. So Microsoft Audience Ads could be a good fit for you. The last option is targeting. Also, some of the native platforms could have really broad targeting. And if you are a client that has a smaller budget, it might not be a good fit for you. But since Microsoft is built into Bing, there's also some great profile targeting options, which we talked about in a previous video, that you can utilize within your audience ad campaigns. So I want to show you how you can set up these types of campaigns within your Microsoft Ads account and how you can utilize some pretty specific targeting that can be very beneficial. And I'm looking specifically at you, B2B accounts. When you are in your Microsoft advertising account, the first thing we want to do is create a campaign. When we create a campaign, we have to select a specific campaign goal, whether it's visits to the website, trying to drive foot traffic, trying to get more conversions, phone calls, you want to run DSA, you want to sell products, you have to choose one of these options. Now, if you want to create a campaign for Microsoft audience ads, you can choose any of these options except dynamic search ads. So when you click on your goal, you'll get another pop-up where you can choose to have your campaign be a search ad campaign or an audience ad campaign. Now, remember, audience ads are still in closed beta at the time of this video. So reach out to your Microsoft reps. I've gotten all of my accounts set up for audience ads with my reps. Pretty much had no hesitation to do so. While the beta is closed, it is fairly easy to get into. So now I'm going to select audience ads, and then you can enter your campaign name and your daily budget. Then we'll save and go to the next step. Here is where we will set up our ad group. Now you can already see, even though I haven't entered in the ad group name yet, that we have a variety of targeting options to make our audience ads as precise as possible. But first, let me get the ad group name out of the way. Now that that is taken care of, let's see what targeting options we have for audience ads initially. Like most campaigns, we can select the location. By default, Microsoft chooses to have your campaigns run in both Canada and the United States at the same time. Again, I'm doing this from the United States, so those are my default options. But we do have the ability to choose specific locations. This is just a demo that I'm not going to really save, so I'm just going to leave it as is. Next, we have age, where we can show our audience ads to specific people in certain age ranges. By default, every box is going to be checked, but you can choose to deselect any certain age age range that you think would not be applicable to your campaign goals. Next, you have the option to select all genders or deselect specific genders or unknown gender. Pretty straightforward. Next, you have the option to choose specific audiences. If you add certain targeting, you can choose your remarketing lists, custom audiences, your similar audiences that you may have created from your other remarketing audiences, and then also in-market audiences. So all the in-market audiences that we typically like to recommend to layer on into your search campaigns to get a better understanding who your audience is, you can also do these from a targeting perspective for your audience ad campaigns. So I've worked with a lot of B2B and manufacturing clients currently and in my past. So this hypothetical campaign examples with CNC machining because I'm fairly familiar with that industry. I can select down and I want to target my awareness campaigns with these audience ads possibly to anybody who is in market for any business and industrial services within the metals category. Microsoft states on their own support pages that in-market audiences are for targeting people who are more in the buy now phase. So if the goal of your campaign is to push more conversions or drive people who are further down in the funnel, in-market audiences could be a good choice for you. Removing this one really quick. You can use audience ads to stay on top of mind for people who've already been to your website via your remarketing audiences. So I may want to target, depending on my campaign goals, all visitors to the site, people who went to specific product pages, the solutions page. This is going to be completely different depending on what your account is and what your goals of your campaign are. But we found out that Microsoft audience ads are a very affordable remarketing channel to guide that user when they're in the buyer's journey to eventually lead them to a conversion. All right, let's pretend I stuck with that in-market audience of metals from the industrial business category. And maybe my goal is I'm okay with the volume that I'm getting from the bottom of the funnel, but maybe my campaign goal is more top of funnel. I would leave my in-market audience in there, but then I can also add audience exclusions. The same options that we have to target, we can exclude. So if I wanna keep it top of funnel, I may wanna exclude all visitors that have come to my website, just to make sure that I know I'm reaching a new user who may not be familiar with my brand or may not be familiar with all the services that my company offers. Scrolling back up, 
we see three additional targeting options that I haven't talked about yet. Now, six months ago, I released another video talking about the LinkedIn profile targeting options that Microsoft Ads offers to users. You can see I pasted the video right here. You can click on it and save it and watch it for later. LinkedIn profile targeting in Microsoft Ads is available for both search ads and the audience ads, but there is one clear difference of why I love this targeting for audience ads. For the search network, we can only use LinkedIn profile targeting from a bid only standpoint. This means we can add as many LinkedIn audiences to our search campaigns as we want, but we can't target those users specifically. We can only make bid adjustments on these audiences. Now with the audience ads, and this is where I get excited, we can target our audience ads in our awareness campaigns or our remarketing campaigns from a targeting only perspective, meaning we're only reaching people based on these LinkedIn profile targeting qualifications. And that's why I said in the intro, if you're a B2B company, you can get really excited. We can't target people by specific company, by specific industry, or by their job function on the Google Display Network. So now I can kind of do some ABM marketing if I want to, and I could target my ad specifically by people who work at certain companies. I typed in metals because that was similar to the in-market audience that I originally wanted to target. And if any of these companies that pop up look applicable, I can choose to target these companies or exclude them from my campaigns. Let's remove this and go back up to the top. If I select specific industries, we see I may wanna target people who only work in the manufacturing industry. And then we can break this down even further. Maybe I only wanna target machinery, maybe mechanical or industrial engineering. We can see how specific we can get with this. And then last, we have job function. Showing our ads to people who have specific kinds of jobs. Pretty straightforward. We see a variety of options that you can target. These can be a little bit more broad. And I found out job functions may not be applicable to every account, but if you know you need to get in front of a specific role within a company and that person has specific job responsibilities, the job function option could actually be very beneficial. So let's assume I'm okay with my targeting options. I have all my proper layers and I know what I'm targeting specifically. We can save and go to the next step. Here is where we are gonna create our ads. So the first thing we wanna do is add an image. Now I have blurred out examples here so I don't give away, but once you add images, if you've created audience ad campaigns in the past, Microsoft will store these images if you wanna use them later again in the future, which is very helpful. Save you a lot of time. But if this is a new campaign and I have a new image or I wanna test different creative, you can upload your own image. And now it's been applied to the ad. You can see in the wider shots, for example, what we see in this ad preview right here, that my entire image is pretty much captured within the ad format that we see right now. If we go to a smaller ad size ratio, we may not be happy with how the image is placed. If you don't like how any of the images look for any of the ratios, you can see there's an edit button. We can click on edit and recrop this image. I choose to, I can just slide over. Now I have the main visual point in this image front and center, and then I could save it. Or you probably saw the other option. I can replace an image specifically for this size if you want to. If you're not happy with any of them, just click remove all images and you could start over. But now we wanna add the textual pieces to your audience ads. And if you're familiar with running any of the responsive display ads on Google, you may or may not already have these creative pieces in place. So we need a short headline that's 25 characters long. Then we need a long headline, which is 90 characters long. Then you have 90 characters to call out ad text. Then 25 characters to call out your business name. And then you can add your final and mobile URLs. Now to get examples of how your ads could appear, when they are on Microsoft's audience network, you can click on the little circles under the image previews. You can see in this example, they only use the longer headline, still using the longer headline. And as we get down to the smaller sizes, we see just the short headline, but no ad text. And then yes, your ads can appear in Microsoft Outlook. So here's how they would look from an email format. Again, pure text, we see a shorter headline and then our ad copy. So before you save any of your ads, go through all the previews and make sure they look acceptable. You can change the images or you may wanna change your headlines or ad text depending on how that ad may appear on all the different types of placements within the audience network. If everything looks good, then you can save. You have the option to create another ad or if you're good with just that one or if you made all the changes that you want, just save and exit. Now, after you save your campaign, you're going to be taken back to the main campaign screen. I immediately jumped back into the specific campaign we just created and have a certain ad group. Now, one cool tool I want to talk about with the Microsoft Audience Network is within your tools, there's a new feature called the Audience Network Planner. Now, you may already know who your target audience is, especially from a B2B standpoint, if you're already doing LinkedIn advertising, you may know exactly which audience you want to go after. But if you're looking to expand your reach and you want some information and some data to back it up that you either need to prove to your boss before you can test something out, the Audience Network Planner can be very beneficial. Remember when we used to have the Display Planner for Google, which is now gone? Unfortunately, I know, we can cry about it. Microsoft has given us a tool which is very similar to that. 
Now, if you look on the left-hand side, we see all the targeting options that I went through when setting up that initial CNC machining campaign. Let me try to replicate it. My locations are the same. I want all ages, all genders. Now I'm not gonna remember the exact targeting options that I had to replicate it because I was going off the fly just setting up a fake campaign. But let's pretend we wanna do all locations, all ages, all genders. I wanna see what type of in-market audiences I may wanna have. I'm gonna select my metals audience. And I'm gonna save that one. You can see the estimator for the network planner has changed, giving me my estimated monthly audience total and my estimated monthly impressions. If I'm gonna skip company, next I may wanna look at specific industries I wanna target. I'll just select a few here, save those, and we see the information has changed again. Job function one more time, say I just wanna target engineering. Again, we have to save every single time. And then the age numbers have changed, the gender numbers have changed. I can look by location based on the options that I have, typical interests that have changed based on my targeting options I've selected. This may give you information on either new in-market audiences to test or one specifically that I haven't considered to even add as another layer to my account. And then last, we can also look at devices based on our targeting options. If you're fine with how this looks, you can select apply to my account. And then from there, you can create a brand new campaign based on all the targeting options. So if you don't wanna just dive right in, go to the audience network planner. Again, it's under the tool section in the top navigation. Do some research first, get the data that you need, and then you can start the campaign creation process in a different way. And that's how easy it is to set up a Microsoft audience ad campaign and also get some information on how you can research which audience you may wanna target on the channel. And that is the full rundown of everything you can do with Microsoft audience ads. With the native ad platform, of course, you're gonna build brand awareness. You're gonna expand your reach to a new audience who may not know about you yet. But we can see how specific we can get with our ad targeting that we have a better chance of getting conversions directly from our top of funnel campaigns. So give it a try, see if it's right for your business. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to subscribe to the Paid Media Pros channel to see more videos.